Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little voiceover for this recording today. Um, this is a digital, digital painting that I did the other day. And I am currently doing a kind of like a mini series uh, with three paintings of girls. Uh, girl portraits in this three quarter view sort of thing uh, in the same grayscale style you already saw my school girl upload probably that's the most popular one of three so far um, it's it's very very simple it's like an easy grayscale um, where the eyes have the color uh, it's the only thing in color together with something else. In the schoolgirl, it's my logo and the eyes in the same color. In this one, it will be a hairband, uh, the eyes and the logo again in the same color, and everything else is grayscale. So it's very simple, basic, um, and it's pretty much just a study for me. Um, I need to study some more realism and some anatomy and stuff. Um, I've been sort of procrastinating <laughs> doing any realistic studies lately. Um, I've been doing a lot of watercolor art and just getting to know the medium that I'm using and not focusing much on the anatomy and stuff like that. So I thought it was time to get back into anatomy studies and pick a few photos to uh, to be my base for a little study break um, and I'm waiting on some new supplies coming in for some traditional work so I thought this would be a good time to take a digital break and the fun part is that these portraits both of them <laughs> so far it took a full day to complete um, but in reality when it came to the actual drawing time and which I was recording so I had a timestamp on it uh, the actual drawing time is less than three hours so <laughs> on average these take me two to two and a half hours to do if I really you know in real drawing time but I take a lot of breaks, I have other projects that I need to do, uh, I have some dolls that I'm painting on, I have, you know, basic stuff that I'm doing at home, <laughs> got to clean the kitchen sometimes. So they have been taking me an entire day <laughs> to actually finish. Um, the major part on, on these is the hair and the style within with in how I'm doing the hair where I'm um, basically I'm basically I'm using a completely black completely black color here and a simple basic round brush you can do this in Photoshop as well with just a normal round brush blush blah 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 blah, blah. a normal round brush <laughs> sorry I haven't been speaking English in a few days so it's killing my tongue again um, I I hope people understand what I'm saying because I went over some of the old voiceovers and I'm like, what the heck am I trying to say here? <laughs> but hopefully I make a little bit of sense and hopefully I am improving on my voiceovers. So, but yeah, back to the hair. It's again, it's very simple and 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 basic but it's very time consuming um, it feels very time consuming especially it feels rather boring because you're just going over these areas again and again and again until you get get the darkness and the depth that you want um, but basically I am just doing what you see here when I'm sketching I'm just doing these lines but I'm doing them over and over again next to each other 
and then my density uh, is pretty low it's like 50 percent or something like that uh, when i'm doing the hair so it gives this layering effect where i actually get some gray tones and some blacks and some different it's it's a very natural way to layer up strokes and i'm not doing long strokes i'm doing pretty short strokes actually um which help get this feel of of layering and here i realized that she's looking like she has absolutely no forehead and no nothing no top head <laughs> i didn't manage to fix it entirely but i did fix it a little bit by adding some more hair um the way she's angled is kind of funny as well. Uh, the photo is that I'm using as reference is not angled this way. Uh, the photo she looks pretty straight on. But I wanted to have a little bit of fun. So I'm like doing this whole watching her through a looking glass angle thing. Where the head is not straight on but it's more like is more rounded off like the nose is the midpoint and the eyes is a little bit further away and the chin is a little bit further away than the nose but i'm not overdoing it in a cartoony way or anything it's just a little bit play or playing with the shapes and the anatomy i wanted to see if i could pull something up like that so it becomes more stylized and realistic but the anatomy is still there um I do study a lot from photos, but I do not copy photos. That's very important for me. Um, <laughs> it's something that's been discussed quite a lot on Facebook and YouTube lately, and I've been having a hard time not talking about it. But I am of the opinion that there is no reason to copy a photo because the image already exists. Um, and that's not the same as saying don't use reference because I'm a big fan of reference and I use it myself. If there is something you don't know how to do, you're not going to get better at doing it by not looking at photos because you just still don't know how to do it. <laughs> so it's better to just find a good reference and, and learn how to draw something. Like for an example, anatomy, anatomy and portraits and stuff. You know, find some good portraits and learn from them. But what I'm meaning is that you can go a really, really long way. Like the hairdo is pretty close to to the to the photo. Uh, her whole face and facial features are pretty close as well. Um, but it just looks really different from the photo still. I'm pretty sure if you go on on my my Pinterest and look through the folder called people, you will be able to find reference photo that I'm using. I have a bunch of really awesome portraits on my Pinterest if you want to check them out that I, I use quite a lot uh, as inspiration or studies or whatever. Um, but even though it's close, it's not an exact copy. It's not, you know, just drawing what I'm seeing. I'm putting myself in the drawing and I think that's really, really important. I think that is what keep keeps the, the interest for the art as well as giving, adding something to the world instead of just, you know, doing another copy of something that is already existing in this world, which is the original portrait, the original photo. Um, so, super realism is great. A super realism that is just copying a existing photo is kind of blare, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. I've done super realism that is just copying a photo as part of practice, but I try not to upload those, so yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> Feel free to disagree, I know a lot of people out there do. I know a lot of people out there like tracing and stuff like that as part of, of practicing this stuff, but yeah, here I'm doing the, uh, the little trademark thing for this mini series where the eyes are colored and the color is the same in the hairband and the logo and 
that's basically the the one thing that is keeping these three images that I want to do together. So, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!